avoid stupid arguments, genealogies, dissensions and quarrels over the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. In today's Gospel, once again, we read about the conflict between Jesus and the teachers of the law. Now, these men are called lawyers in the Gospel because they are basically experts or scholars of the Mosaic law. They were skilled in the interpretation and teaching of the Word of God. Jesus rebukes them saying, Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key to knowledge. The Lord says this because these experts took the responsibility of studying and interpreting the Word of God to the people, but they gave extreme importance to the rituals of the ceremonial law and the traditions of the elders. And along with all this, they burdened the people with several precepts. They failed in forming the people spiritually by instructing them on God's love and justice. Jesus rebukes them because they disregarded the greatest commandment mentioned in the Old Testament, which is given in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone, and you shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Dear friends, we find a similar situation even among the early Christians. So Saint Paul in his letter to Titus chapter 3 verse 9 writes, Avoid stupid arguments, genealogies, dissensions and quarrels over the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. The law or the word of God should enable us to grow in the love of God. Again in Galatians chapter 5 verse 14 he writes, For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now love does not mean making someone happy. The definition of love according to St. Thomas Aquinas is willing the good of the other. Because sometimes things that seem to give happiness can be immoral. So loving someone primarily means to will the overall well-being of the other, both spiritually and materially. So as we reflect on this gospel, let us remind ourselves that the Lord has given us the key to true knowledge, that is, the scriptures, which contains the words of eternal life, so that we may study and teach one another. As Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 7 says, You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>